Welcome back, Everyday Business Leaders. I'm Melanie Ake, your host for today's show, coming to you from JP the Geek Studio right here in Greenwood, Indiana. I am thrilled to have you with us today. If you're a follower of Top Floor Women, you're going to know this guest. Samantha mm-hmm. Tishner spoke at our January event for Top Floor Women. So remember, join and connect to us as we celebrate remarkable business leaders from our very own community. We're redefining the way we think and grow. Remember, subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on so you never miss an episode. Ready to meet Samantha? Here we go. Hi, Sam. Hi. This is awesome. You're right. You're right back here at JP the Geek. I know. I love it. <laughs> different love room, it. right? <laughs> different room, but it's great. It's this, great. This is awesome to have you. You really filled the room when we had top floor women. It was it was amazing, and I loved all the women. I, I that is the best part about being able to speak or share or just even come to the events. Getting to meet so many amazing women. Um, it's just incredible. It's different it. than Zoom, isn't it? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. I am so happy when I actually get to connect one-on-one with somebody. So I know. Well, your company is Heal First Coaching. Yes. And I love this first of the year. People are talking about how to reset their energy, how mm-hmm. to feel different, how to find a new job maybe. Yeah. Things that they have not challenged themselves to do. And mm-hmm. so I want to dive deep into how you started your process to healing. And so the people that didn't attend Top Floor Women or haven't seen that replay Mm -hmm. can really connect to you. And I want to celebrate your business today. Well, wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about where you're you're in Plainfield. Your business is in Plainfield. Yes. Yes, I currently have an office that's in Plainfield. And that is a, a space where I can either meet clients Uh, there's a lot of times that I still do a lot of zoom because sometimes it's just more convenient. You know, you don't have the travel time and, and all that. So I'm pretty flexible on how I connect with people and try to meet them where they are. And it's just been a, it's an amazing journey and the different women that I meet. And I've helped women that have been looking for new careers or, you know, they've, they've gone through a divorce or loss and they need help. Or they're at that point in life where it's like, I, I don't know who I am. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what I want. I don't know where to go. I feel like I've kind of lost my purpose. You know, if like me, I have two um, adult daughters. And when they started getting out and doing their own thing, it's like, okay, now what am what am I supposed to do? Right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Well, so. that's how a lot of people are, right? Mm-hmm. I think midlife changes you in a lot of ways. Either yes. you're taking care of your parents and mm-hmm. trying to help your kids find their way. Yeah. But then where do you find your way? Yes. Right. And that's where I think a lot of us that have said this community really is serving each other in what can we try? What can we learn? How mm-hmm. can we grow? Yes. And it's it truly is an individual experience. So what I have done and all the steps that I have gone through, it's not going to be the same for everybody. And if you just seek to try and find what works best for you or what feels right for you, I'm a feeling person. <laughs> so, you know, finding what feels right for me, then that's that's where I focus. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't mean that things are, you know, other things are wrong or whatever. It's just it needs to feel right with you. It needs to feel aligned with you, your growth and where you want to be. And the key is to just keep seeking until you find that direction, until you find that space, you know, till you find those steps where you want to be. And I would have to say one of the biggest things is know what you want. Right. If you cannot define what you want. Oh, that's so hard though, right? Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. Because we serve our whole life. Mm-hmm. Taking care of everybody else. Yes. Even in businesses, right? I know it's still 2020s, mm-hmm. but it hasn't been that long ago that women decided like, hey, we're going to really elevate ourselves in the workplace. Yes. And so this whole equity and inclusion is really about making sure that we have the same pay, that mm-hmm. we have equal opportunities. And that's still happening in today's world. I mean, it's only 2024. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And that is very true. I I worked in corporate for 30 plus years. And, 
you know, there are a lot of stories I can tell on things that, that I went through and it's like, it, it wasn't necessarily right. And mm-hmm. some of it was, you know, different things within me that I needed to change my way of thinking about who I am. Mm-hmm. About the fact that, yeah, I am worthy of that pay. I am worthy of that promotion. Um, Even to be able to see the value in the things that I contributed to the company. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that was difficult for me to see, too. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's, it's each of us really knowing and understanding who we are and what we contribute and see our own value so that we can let that shine so others can see it as well. Mm. You know, there's so many jobs out there and Mm -hmm. yet a lot of employers, I work with a lot of companies that are trying to grow their teams. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they often say is we can't get people to show up for interviews. We can't get people to show up for work. Like the whole mentality of why we're working or Mm -hmm. what we're doing has changed. So if people don't understand their value and they don't know how to ask for that, that can be a really difficult space. Mm -hmm. When I feel that some of what we're, we're lacking is, you know, just really being able to understand what it is that you're doing and how you're contributing. Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love coaching now. You know, I, I am, I, it's just a very fulfilling career. But in my past with the company that I worked for, that was very fulfilling Mm -hmm. in the time that I did that too. And I believe it is very important for each of us to find what helps to fulfill us. We are designed to be able to contribute and to add, you know, whether that is you are a stay at home mom and you contribute and add to your family at home and making sure all that happens, or you go into a job, no matter what level it is, just find how you can truly contribute and add value and take ownership of that. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we all need that type of purpose to really be able to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So even for me, I I was laughing the other day, I have an accomplishments exercise that I do with um, some of my clients. And it's to help to just kind of get reconnected with who you are. And I was laughing because on this, you're supposed to write down the different things that you've accomplished. Well, one of the things on my list when I did it was being able to create pivot tables in oh. Excel. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was so excited when I did that. That's that's the nerd in me. That's awesome. <laughs> but, you know, it. I truly felt fulfilled. I was accomplished. That was a big deal for me. Now, other people probably looked at that and thought, OK, Sam, you're, you're just <laughs> that's a little nuts. But it's being able to find all those different things in your life that it's like, okay, yeah, that's that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And to see those different areas that you grow, no matter what your job is. And it's so personal, like you said. Yes. If people can understand that, that it doesn't have to look like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Uh, I teach a lot of the John Maxwell 15 Laws of Growth. That's like my biggest growth book that changed my life. And Mm -hmm. chapter one talks about all of the gaps that we have, right? And and so all of those, I think, speak to we compare, we try to be perfect, we Mm -hmm. try to, the timing of like, we analyze if it's not the right time for us, instead of just taking that action to do something like learn a pivot table. Yes, exactly. (laughs) And then that gives you the confidence. Yes, yes, it does. And that that's where I, I feel that some women we do want to compare too much and we are all unique and beautiful in our own diversity in each one of us we bring something different and we have to take ownership of that Mm -hmm. you know if you are fighting for a position um within your your work environment or whatever it is we we do not have to know how to do everything but we have to be able to align with the right people that help us to grow and shine, whereas we can help them, lift mm. them, and help them grow in the same time. How do you change that, though? Because so many people go into environments, they're hostile work environments, mm-hmm. right? And we know this. We've experienced it. Yes, yes. <laughs> hostile work environments. And so you don't even know that you have a voice. You don't feel safe, even yeah maybe with the HR representative, like mm-hmm. you're, you don't trust anybody yeah. and yet you're struggling with something inside. I think this is the key to where coaches like you 
can help mm-hmm. people start to validate, like, is this an experience that's triggering something else? Right. Right. Or mm-hmm. is there something that I just need to work through so that I can go in and accept and know how to add value to the company? Right. Um, that's the hardest part, I think. Yes. And there are so many different layers to that. Everything that you just said there, there's so many different layers mm-hmm. because it could be a lot of something that's triggering within you. You know, there are, I can look at many different times during my um, corporate career and there are different things that I have seen or can remember to say, you know, I didn't feel right or I, I didn't get the recognition or I didn't, but sometimes I was looking for the recognition from somebody who couldn't give the recognition. Mm-hmm. That's huge. And that's where I was placing my value. <laughs> and it didn't matter that all the other people that I was working with day to day that were, you know, kind of in the in the foxhole with me, even though they were saying, Sam, oh my gosh, we couldn't do this without you. Sam, you're doing such a great job. Oh my gosh, Sam, you add value. I wasn't hearing any of that. And... For me, it it did ring deeper. It was it was going back to okay, why am I seeking approval from those who cannot give it to me? Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of things that I have uncovered during my my growth and my journey, and still uncovering today. I don't <laughs> think it's that you ever check it off the list. No, but it's trying to figure out. You know, okay, why is why do I have to seek for that person's approval? Why? Can I not accept what other people are telling me? Why can I not accept what I know deep in my heart that, yeah, I'm good at what I do and I do add value and do I gauge right and am I perfect? No, not at all. But to be able to see, you know, all the good that I have done. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the time, right? What was your aha moment? Mm, Aha moment was... My aha moment was as I was going through my second divorce and I realized, you know, I'm the common denominator in this and I just really started seeking and trying to find, okay, I want a happy life. I want a good life. I see these other people and I, I truly want something good in life. It kind of went back to, to being able to define what I wanted. And then trying to create those steps on how to get there. Mm -hmm. And part of it was going through and trying to understand what was stopping me from getting there. Because I believe each of us have that choice within us. Life is filled with choices. Mm -hmm. You know, the choice to seek approval from somebody who can't give it. Or the choice to not speak up when you feel something's not right. Or the choice to, you know, when you feel something in your heart of this is, you need to go talk to this person or you need to do such and such and you hold yourself back. You know, there's those those different things that happen in our life and I think we've all experienced them that, again, like you said before, we need to act on it. Mm-hmm. We need to do it. And so it was during that divorce when I really started seeking inside on, okay, what's what's happening here? You know, how can I change it? And I, I searched a lot online. There's some incredible um, speakers and, um, you know, talks and, and all kinds of trainings and stuff out there that you can do. That's the beauty of the internet right now. Mm-hmm. But it when I hired my first coach was when I really started um, – making that change, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's just nice to have somebody that's outside your circle that, you know, doesn't come like family do with emotions or, you know, that, that the history, history, (laughs) exactly. (laughs) Of like, well, I remember when you said you were going to do that that one time. Yeah. And then you you didn't. (sighs) So having somebody who's just a total outsider come in and say, okay, well, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And you know, I was ready to change at that point in time. Mm-hmm. I was re- I was open to change, and I made that choice that, okay, I'm really going to start facing some of this stuff I've been hiding from all my life and, mm-hmm. and working through it. Well, you said a big thing right there. Mm-hmm. You were ready to change. Yes. 
Because so many people, and I've seen this online, you know, through COVID, it was crazy. People mm-hmm. saying, oh, join this group and I'll, and I'll do this for you and I'll make everything better. And then you're like, yeah, but if people aren't ready. Yeah. Right. When you're ready, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Yes. Like everywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> and you start to say, I need to add value here. I need to learn this. And then you get so exhausted mm-hmm. because your brain is in this adrenaline overload that You know, when you start to view things, Mm -hmm. you want to do it all. Yeah. And you want to accomplish it. And so I think that's the point that I really want people to understand here is like, even if you're not ready, if you say there's something like deep inside of you that you just, you just aren't ready Mm -hmm. to make that change, then it won't work. Yeah. Right. Right. And that's, if you feel like you're ready, sometimes you feel like you're ready, but you don't know how or mm. you're afraid of what that's going to bring and what that opportunity is going to look like. A lot of times, if you at least start speaking the words, even if you don't believe the words that you're speaking, if you start speaking them and you speak it enough it starts to change your mind and you start to be more and more open to it. Mm-hmm. And that is some place that, you know, where I've, I've been able to start on different things. It's like, okay, I can do this. Mm-hmm. I can make this happen, you know? And like you said, it can be overwhelming, mm-hmm. but it's finding, you know, those different steps that you can take along the way mm-hmm. and trying to m- kind of map it out. Just like if you were working on a huge, Work projects, you know, you you break it down into chunks. There are different steps that you have to accomplish to be able to get to the next step. Looking at your personal life in that same way or your growth in that same way is just break it down into a project. Mm -hmm. You know the outcome you want to get to, so how do you get there? Mm -hmm. And like with me as a coach, I do not have the answers for you, not at all. But I have the questions to help you find those answers Mm. that you have within. That's so perfect. And each of us have that within us. Sometimes we just need that extra person, whether it's a counselor, therapist, you know, a good friend, whoever that is in your life. I went to a coach and I am a coach now, but that doesn't mean that that's the only option. Again, it goes back to where you can connect and what makes the most sense for Mm -hmm. you. Hi, I'm Melanie Ake, founder of Everyday Leaders, and I'm excited to share with you a new training resource for your team called The Leadership Game. The Leadership Game is a tool. It's administered exclusively by John Maxwell team members. And when you bring this assessment tool in to lead your organization, it shows you the current level of your leadership and gives you tangible and actionable results to move forward. So don't delay, get in the game, the leadership game, exclusively from everyday leaders. So what I love about you is you're so passionate and you've decided like, hey, I want to help women Mm -hmm. get through this place that can be really scary yes it can be really scary because if you don't decide that you are the common denominator Mm -hmm. that you always look to everything else right and so you're a published author yes so if uh, joe if you could bring up sam's website and just share um, that i think that's really great so you have your website here helping women rebuild after divorce Mm -hmm. also there's some tools so you've got a book Yes. And uh, and getting ready to put your second one on here. Yes. Yeah. I In 2019, I published my first book, which had you told me I was going to publish a book, I would have said, uh, not going to happen. <laughs> but a total God thing for me, I, I published my first book. It's called Heal First, Love Second. It's the necessary steps for healing after divorce. And it just walks through the different steps that I went through after my divorce to Um, help to heal and kind of those those pivotal things that I encountered and then I am getting ready or I have just published a new beginnings journal and it is a 50-week journal that you can start anytime during the year and that journal is 
it just has different um, journaling prompts or, you know, check-ins for each day on how you're feeling. And the purpose of that journal is to be able to kind of document your growth and change. Because when I look back at the journals that I had when I was starting through that big transition time in my life, I love seeing how far I've come. Mm-hmm. And it's inspiring for me to see, okay, yeah, that's really what I felt. That's where I was. And this is where I am today. Sometimes during our journey, we lose track of those small accomplishments Mm -hmm. and to be able to celebrate those wins that we have along the way. So the journal is to just kind of help document that time that you have and, you know, to help grow and, and build your strength and, and your confidence along the way. So it's, I love creating those, those different type of tools to be able to, to help you get to the next level. So, Mm -hmm. and with my coaching, I I do the same. I work with a lot of worksheets um, and it's just nice to be able to look back and see the growth, to Mm -hmm. see the change, you know, to have those aha moments of, oh my gosh, (laughs) yes, this is it. And to have it documented. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. So when you reflect back on just 2019, you know, Mm -hmm. that's only been five years. Yes. So what do you see for the next five years? Oh my goodness. Well, I am within a few months going to be launching an online community um, that I'm really excited about because we are going to have uh, group coaching. And one of the things that I know stops people from coaching is, you know, it's not accepted by insurance. It is an investment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when people see that investment and I know I did the first time I talked to a coach, you know, she's like, it's $3,000 to work for me for da, 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 da. And I was going through divorce. It's like, I, I don't have $3,000 to contribute or invest at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was just one of those big things. But since then in coaching, which I always, tend to have a coach of some sort Mm -hmm. with me because it's so important to me (laughs) in my journey. I've invested quite a good bit and it's been amazing because the growth that I have seen from that has helped improve me and who I am and where I am in life. So the community that I'm building, it's a starting point. You know, it's going to be $19.95 a month. You can sign up for a month. You can continue monthly um, a membership through that. You can sign up for a year. There's going to be opportunity that I can coach one-on-one with people during with this community. But the community is going to be built as a starting point mm-hmm. to hopefully to get women to be able to see, yeah, I'm worth investing in. To where if they want to invest in a career coach or they want to invest in a trauma therapy coach Mm -hmm. or to be able to take that step to say, yeah, this has helped me so much. I can't imagine if I go and truly invest what that's going to be because I've seen so many people's lives change so dramatically by investing in coaching. So I want this platform to be kind of that stepping stone to give them maybe the courage, Mm -hmm. you know, to, to be able to move forward and to really take ownership and take that step to say, yes, I'm doing this and I, I'm investing in it and I know it's going to change my life Mm -hmm. because I've seen it happen. (laughs) I always say, you know, the consistency, the clarity that comes from that, and then the courage that you receive, Yes, it changes everything that you Mm -hmm. can do. The possibilities are endless. And you know, you talked about, we talked about together, the taking the action. Mm-hmm. But I think we as women forget that we block the blessings. Oh, gosh, yes. We just sabotage ourselves so many times because we say, oh, I've got it figured out. Mm-hmm. And then we don't get what we actually intended to do. And yet, if we just opened up our mind to say, if someone else could help me think through this, mm-hmm. right, that gives you the opportunity to say, oh, I've just missed out on all these other things that that could be potential that you don't have to do by yourself. Right. But that there are resources. Right. Yes. Yeah. And that that is the beautiful thing. We 
we feel like we have to be uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> you know, we, we have to we have to stand in our posture and we've got to take on the world. But I have to tell you, there are so many beautiful people that God has put in my life that has helped me to grow and to see clearly. It's it's amazing when you open yourself up and say, okay, yeah, it's okay to ask for help. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give my permission, myself permission to be able to be open to let somebody in and to let somebody help me and... You know, and maybe it's something as simple as, yes, to go over and talk to that mom that is helping her kid through softball. And maybe we can do an exchange here mm -hmm. that would give me a little bit of time to, you know, go to the gym mm -hmm. or to sit and read a book mm -hmm. or to do something just for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's giving ourselves permission that it's OK to take a little bit of time for ourselves mm -hmm. and to find something to help us grow and get to the level that we want to be. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things, you know, women are such good collaborators to mm -hmm. try to bring communities together, and yet we forget about ourselves. Yes. So that's why I love having you here and just really celebrating what you do because women are in a critical stage right now, I think, mm -hmm because I'm where you are as far as where we are in our life, right? We're kind of, you're taking care of parents and you're taking care of everybody else that's under you that you're trying to mentor and bring up. Yes. And so you have to get perspective mm -hmm. around it. And mm -hmm. it's, if we open ourselves up to talk about things, it's amazing what comes to pass. People have mentioned, Sam, you know, it's just, it's so incredible that you share your journey, you know, going through two divorces mm -hmm. and, and some of the, you know, crap and crazy that I've yeah. gone through in my life. Um, and I'm pretty open to share things, but it's been amazing to see how many women have gone through the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, no journey is the same because we are all different people. We're all unique. But it's amazing to see how many women I know that have gone through two divorces in their life. Mm -hmm. When I was thinking, oh, I'm, I'm the only one. If somebody you know, sees that I've gone through two divorces, they're going to run, they're going to think I'm damaged, they're going to think that, oh my gosh, this is somebody that you don't want to get in a relationship with, or you don't want to be around. You know, I felt like there was this big neon sign above me saying, get away, she's broken. Mm -hmm. And the more and more I share my journey, and I talk about things, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm not broken. You know, I have made some choices in my life that has kind of put me into different situations. But now, as I see more and more clearly, I'm not making those kind of choices mm -hmm. anymore. And, you know, for me, I, I did find a wonderful man, unlike any that I dated in the past. And we've been married for a year and a half now. And, you know, my life is totally different than what it used mm -hmm. to be in, in every aspect. And by changing the relationship with myself and how I saw myself, all of my relationships changed mm -hmm. with my family, my friends, my um, my boss at the time, which now I'm I'm on my own. I'm my own boss. <laughs> um, sometimes she and I have, have <laughs> issues, too. But, you know, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it's amazing that changing some of the things within yourself can shift your whole entire world. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I think I was closing my eyes when you were talking about just, you know, believing in yourself mm -hmm. and thinking that you weren't enough yeah. because you were damaged. You were, yes. you needed to be repaired. And I think about walking into a room. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, you know, you probably would have said, hey, if there's any space that you want to sit in, you probably would have sat at the back of the room. Oh, yes. But now what you've gone through you're ready to sit at the front of the room. Yes, Front absolutely. row, right, talk about it, mm -hmm. get up on, on stage and say, look, I can really help energize yeah. people through this. And so I think there's a lot of people that are listening to this, and I hope that they reach out to you yeah. because all it takes is that permission to give ourselves to say, hey, if I thought about this differently, mm -hmm. what could change in my life? Yes. Right, and you've just taken us through that beautiful process. Oh. So it's, it has been an incredible journey. And yeah, for me, it's it's I just want to inspire all women to be able to take those steps, mm -hmm. you know, the step 
step through that journey, whatever it's going to look like for you, whatever it's going to look like. And, you know, there are some women that I talk to, you know, maybe only have a couple sessions and that's just enough to give them that nudge to go forward mm-hmm. and, and to move on. And then there are some of my clients I've worked with for a couple years and, you know, we, we just keep kind of working through things together, but, you know, each of us have our own journeys and it's just finding where, where to start mm-hmm. or to get that inspiration, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have a game. I want to close this out with a game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the last few sessions, we went on vacation in December and mm-hmm. we found these food for thought. It was a restaurant and it has okay. all these amazing inspirational quotes. Mm-hmm. So I like to give you the opportunity to just draw one of these cards and then we will talk about the inspiration. Okay. Under. Are you game? I'm game. Okay. I'm game. Let's see what we can do here. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this is for me to read. That is. I have to put on my glasses. <laughs> Hold on a second. These are fun. No pressure. If you had the power to change the world right now, what would you change Ooh, first? Oh I my goodness. That. Okay, so the power to change the world. You know, I. I believe I would put everyone, every child, every everyone to go through kind of that self-discovery course, you know, to build a course. In school, you have a class that's all about know, like, and trust yourself. You have a class that helps to focus on, you know, accepting yourself for who you are, Mm -hmm. you know, a class that celebrates your wins, you know, that just encourages you and gives you the tools that you need just to be able to see the beauty that's within you, the beauty that God created within you and who you are, and just to be able to know that and accept it, Mm. you know. That's awesome. I, I feel like that would that would make a huge difference in this world because there's a lot of people that they can't see that value or the beauty within them. You learn that earlier, yeah. things change, right? Yeah, they yeah. do. Well, and even from childhood, you know, there are sometimes someone shared a real quick story. Someone shared something with me that, you know, you develop so many of your beliefs, you know, from, um, you know, even from birth to, to five. Five. Right? That's, yeah. that's the key. Yeah. And so you may have been a two-year-old and you're you're running into the kitchen and mom is, is cooking on the stove and the two-year-old's so excited and, and, you know, just wants to hug and love on mom, but mom's busy. And so mom says, no, no, you, you, you can't be in here. You need to go in the other room. That two-year-old may have, you know, processed that I'm not loved. I'm not wanted. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there are, there are different things that happen that are so innocent in our lives that sometimes our belief system starts creating those different stories. And then it, we carry it through through our whole entire life. Mm-hmm. So to be able to change the world, to let people know, no, you have value. You know, you are beautiful with who you are. You are unique. Find those things that are you know, special about you. Sometimes in work, it's like, you have to fit into this mold. This is who you need to be. And it's like, but no, that's not my skill. That's not, this is where I bring value. And that's okay. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's where you need to thrive with that instead of trying to conform to everything else. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, trying to, to build whatever that is to let people see who they are and to find out where their skills are so that they can, you know, step into a life where they can thrive Mm. and be appreciated. Here we go. Let's change the world. Okay, let's do it. (laughs) Let's do it. Here we go. (laughs) That's awesome. Sam, thank you just for being here, for sharing your heart, for sharing your story. Mm. And I'm excited to help you launch your new group. That's going to be really awesome yes. for you and uh, and to help support you in that. So Well, thank you so much. I, I appreciate the opportunity <laughs> to be here with you guys today. I just love you guys and what you do and, and everything that you 
you bring in and share. So, and that's, that's, uh, when you start opening yourself up, it's, it's amazing the type of people that you run into Mm -hmm. and how we all have a beautiful story to share. Mm -hmm. So amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, um, please come back, please come back and share your journey and things that are going on and come back to top floor women. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I definitely will. So a wonderful group. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Wasn't that amazing? I love her. (laughs) Thank you for tuning into this episode of Everyday Business Leaders. I hope you were inspired to think and grow differently about your business, especially about your personal relationships and how you can be involved and take ownership in your life. Remember, the journey of growth and innovation never ends. And it's our mission to keep bringing you the best insights from our local community. So stay tuned for more episodes filled with wisdom, innovation, and inspiration. This is Melanie Ake signing off from JP the Geek Studio, where better IT service is just a call away. They say own it, secure it, and protect it. (laughs) Until next time, don't forget, subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on so you never miss an episode. Everyday Leaders helps you to develop strategies to become a better leader in your life. So remember, it's not what you do in a day. It's what you do every day that makes the most impact. Thanks for following us.